A British couple has just been sentenced to six years in prison after they were caught uh, keeping a Nigerian man as a slave for 24 years. Now, the couple uh, brought the Nigerian boy into the country when he was 14 years old, and they got caught when he was 40. They told the teenager they would educate and pay him, but they forced him to work long hours for no pay and threatened him with deportation if he tried to escape. The victim, now 40, was forced to cook, clean, garden, and care for the couple's children without any pay for up to 17 hours a day. He had to eat alone and typically slept on the floor of the hall. This was in London, by the way. I mean, it's, it's incredible that it went on as long as it did, and part of the reason why they didn't get caught was because he was so afraid that he was going to get in trouble, he was going to be imprisoned or, or sent back to Nigeria if he spoke out against what they were doing to him. So uh, they were also originally Nigerian at one point. They're British, right? But so they pretended that he was related to them, right? And a part of how they got away with it. But this is an old trick. Uh, some of the Gulf countries do this uh, in mass. They say, "Okay, come here. Oh, we'll give you work. It'll be great. It'll be an opportunity." And then the minute you enter the country, they're like, "Give me your passport." Okay, that's it. I have it. Now you're screwed. You can't go anywhere, right? So in this particular case, oh man, if you go to the police, we'll turn you in. They'll deport you. And he thinks, "Well, I mean, I, I'm not here legally." I I guess they will deport me, right? It's a lo logical fear to have. So when uh, governments like Qatar do it, like, hey, we need to build a massive stadium here because we got, you know, World Cup coming or whatever it might be. Okay, hey, you Indonesians, Pakistanis, whoever you might be, come on in. We got great jobs for you. Now give me all your passports. Huh? You're stuck. Now go do that. Basically, a slave labor uh, for, you know, however many years it takes. What I don't understand is. Just the prevalence of cruel people, right? And I think maybe because we are in this news bubble where we're constantly covering really bad stuff. But you hear stories like this and you wonder how a couple can be this cruel and this terrible to someone in this day and age for so long and have no remorse about it. By the way, he got sentenced to six years in prison for this. They robbed this man of 24 years of his life and they get six years in prison for it. Yeah, and, and this is unfortunately not a unique story, not just the in mass ones that I'm talking about, but uh, I've seen story after story, this happens here in the US too, uh, where usually people from a rich background will bring in people from a different country and they'll threaten them just like this, I'll take your passport, I'm going to turn you in, and then they just force them to work uh, for years, decades at a time, don't pay them and abuse them. Again, the the Needless cruelty is also what drives me crazy. Yes. Making him sleep on the floor. I know. They're right? bad people. They're terrible people. And and uh, there was a case where they had uh, you know a, a girl and they'd force her to sleep in a closet, right? It's just sickening, man. Sometimes uh, people's cruelty to one another is unfortunately horrifying. Yeah. Thank God he's finally out of it. He's now 40, but at least he's out of it and of course he's staying in the UK.